As part of the continuing project this week to play tanks that I don't play there that often, it's the Churchill. Well, the Churchill 7? Churchill 7? 5, 6, 7, yes. Churchill, Churchill 7. It's funny that a lot of the tanks I don't play very often are British tanks. Hmm. Why is that? I mean, I think it's actually quite interesting and telling that the British sort of went through a period of using American tanks. They realised that the tanks that they'd been making didn't really work out for them. And didn't they sell a lot of them to the Russians? The Soviet Union. No, let's go for the town. Come chaps. So yeah, I think it's just interesting that the British went, okay, we've got these tanks that we've made and they're actually pretty bad. Let's sell them on and let's get some American tanks. And then I believe the Russians got shiploads of British tanks and went, hmm, not very good, are they? Mm, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with what we've got, thanks. So that's obviously the, the very condensed history of... Oh, I never noticed that one, no. The very condensed history of British tanks. And I'm thinking, you know, once you get past sort of... Well, actually, the one after this is the Black Prince, which is basically another of the slow Churchill-type of heavy tanks. But I think after the Black Prince, there's some really good stuff. you just got to get there. You've got you to earn those tanks. The British have a lot of, I guess, what I would call punishment tanks. Tanks that you go, there is some good stuff later, trust me, but you've got to, you've got to show you want it. You've got to show you've, you you put in the hours to, to get this far. If I see someone in like a tier 10 British tank, I know they've, they've suffered enough. You know, just leave them be. Let them win. I'm the only, obviously I'm only saying that because I, because I'm kind of grinding my way through the British tank crew. Help. Oh, I'm sorry, KV-2. I mean, you're the KV-2, you should be okay. So, normally I have nothing very positive to say about British tanks at all, but the, the Churchill's alright. It's slow, it's heavily armoured. Its gun is nothing to write home about, particularly. I mean, it's good, I guess, but it's just... When you play a tier 6 heavy, the natural thing for me to do is go, because I have instead been playing a KB2. Because that's, that's a question that I ask a lot. Oh, actually hit him. I am really surprised. Again, a cheeky one to take home. You want that kill, don't you? You got it. No. You don't have it. You don't, you don't, Scott Sits. I'm just sitting here capping, aren't I? Yeah. I'm really surprised that the birch gun and the grill haven't lobbed a shot in my eye. In my direction. I'm... I'm pleasantly surprised by this turn of events. Ah! Oh, that was lucky. Ah, uh, that was less lucky. Oh, damage locked. Locked on it. Okay. Uh. Don't care. You can track me, you can do damage, but it's going all you like. Okay, actually, you, you can't be stopped. <laughs> Take it back. Uh, is no one covering that side? Oh no. Uh, as long as KV2 is alive. Feeling okay, feeling fine. No one actually wants to cap today. We're, we're just not going to bother. Duly noted. I'm not going to worry about some scrapers. Just want to put a bit of a bit of extra damage on. Well, this is 
going okay. Oh god, this thing is slow though. Hey. And after all that careful repositioning, the guy just left. He just walked away. Oh. You got escaped too, come on. Nice. Yay, I got you back, buddy. We got this. We're a team, you and me. Max, could I invite you to my platoon? Yay! Hey, buddy. We got this. You and me. <laughs> no, don't you dare, you little shit. Sorry, that's very rude. Yay! Good job, guys. Good job. Yay, KV2, buddy! Yay! <clears throat>